Look what the skater has. Uh, she was barely started on it, so we're going to say that this is her first major time to work on it in art class. What What is the um, automobile that you're painting? It's 1912 Brush Runabout. A Brush Runabout. And I don't know whether they named it that, the picture I was going by, or if it's actually a... I've never heard of a brush before. <laughs> Well, here it is. This is going to be so fun to watch uh, develop. Um, I thought it was interesting that she placed the car down low in her, um, is that 12 by 12 or what? Yeah, what's that? So. Yeah, 12 by 12. Yeah. And instead of putting it more to the middle, but where she's put it, it looks like it's about to drive off into the lower left corner. So um, this is oil on canvas. And... Um, this is her palette for today. What is the red that you've selected? I'm using straight up alizarin crimson. I see. Now, folks need to know there is an alizarin crimson and a permanent alizarin Mine's crimson. Permanent. Hers is permanent. If you have the um, an older alizarin crimson and it doesn't say permanent, you want to be sure that you have some other paint color mixed into it because it will go transparent. It's called uh, being a fugitive color. And so if you have another color mixed into it, um, a quick story in the Birmingham Art Museum, wonderful collection. And there's a painting of an officer, um, probably 1700s, and I loved to go uh, see that painting. It's like visiting an old friend. And I realized years and years ago, everything was beautifully painted and meticulous about the whole thing, except for a cummerbund. And it was kind of sketchy and, of course, horizontal strokes. And one of those aha moments came to me that the cummerbund would have been painted in a red which it made sense to me, probably alizarin crimson being a rich purpley red, and that it had gone transparent. And all that remained now was a little bit of the darker color, maybe black that was mixed into it to make the striations running horizontally in the cummerbund. So be aware uh, there are, if you don't know the term fugitive, do look it up because you want to be careful that um, your painting is going to stand the test of time. So the skater is off on a good start. And, and what is your green? It's a sap green. Sap green, and that's a transparent green. Alizarin crimson and sap green are both transparent um, oil colors. And is that cerulean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Cerulean blue. And, a, and it's a light, light yellow light yellow so we will see her again this will not be a weekend project <laughs> lots of detail so she'll have fun bye now